Does ProPress work better than solder? Well, you know what? In this video, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about it right now. Does ProPress work better than solder? I get asked that a lot because I have a commercial background too, so I've done ProPress, I've done solder, I've done a lot of different things. Only thing I don't do is shark bite. Here's my deal. ProPress, to be honest, as a fitting, is probably just as good as solder. People will tell you, you know, what is that based off of? Or, or ask you, what is that based off of? You've got to look at all the different things, but really, when I first ask myself, is ProPress better? I've got to start with, is it as good as? If I can say yes, which I think that I can, ProPress fittings are made with rigid copper. And it's a heavy grade copper. It's made to be able to be compressed and withstand and hold that. I go back and I check the websites and ProPress is made with a life expectancy of about 50 years. To be honest, I've seen a lot of copper last a lot longer. So the question that I would have would be, is it the EPDM rubber or is it the copper body itself? I don't see a lot of copper leaks. Now you see some every now and then, but it's mainly in the copper pipe and the pinholes because of installation, because of just wear and tear, because of chemicals in the water line. There's a lot of different things. But when I go to, is ProPress better than copper? The thing that I start looking at then is labor and installation. Now, I used to run some big projects, big commercial projects. The thing is, as a superintendent, you are literally looking at what can I do to save labor. Labor is what really eats you up on a job site. Labor-wise, ProPress is a lot quicker. Literally, once you cut it, you ream it to get rid of the sharp edges, slide it together, make it up, get the tool out and press it, and you're done. About 30 seconds. Maybe a little bit longer, but not much. Now go think about what you've got to do to make that same copper joint. You've got to cut it. You've got to sand it. You've got to clean it. No, I stay, I, I clean. You gotta do the same thing to the fitting. Then you fit it all up after you flux it, or not if you're not, if you're brazing it, but you flux it up, put it all together, then you've gotta take the time to heat all that up, solder it, and then wait for it to cool down to do anything with it. So, a ProPress fitting, they're really neat. They're a lot heavier than you would expect, and they actually feel heavier. Now, they've got the EPDM ring in here to seal off, and when the jaws go in here and really clamp down, like I said, it's about 3,000 pounds of pressure. It's gonna clamp down so tight, it's not just gonna slide off. When you put it together and you make it up all the way and mark it right where you want it and then crimp it, man, it's there. Is it as good? These fittings cost a lot more. The tools, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think I bought my torch and tips and everything for, God, originally, and, and remember guys, I'm a dinosaur, so when I started, it was probably 100 bucks. And that might've been, that might've been a bottle too. Uh, so it, it's been a while. It's been a while since I could. But, you know, the, the ProPress tools, the small ones you can get for around $1,000. I've got the big one. Our next video will be how to use it because I want to get it in here. I want to set it up on the tripod and literally show people how to use the ProPress tool. $1,000 to about $2,500 is what you're going to pay for a tool. And that's just for the copper ProPress. I've also got the MegaPress tools because I love using this on a gas system and they're a different set of heads for your, your ProPress tool. I gotta tell you though, I, I kinda like it. One of the neat things about ProPress is there's no fire. So if you're in an area that maybe is highly flammable, or if you're in a commercial building where maybe you've gotta get a hot work permit, there's some things that you have to do, ProPress is great because there is no hot work permit because there's no open flame. Now, also, if you're on a big job like that, you also now don't have to have a fire watch person. So there's a lot of things that could be very beneficial as to using ProPress instead of using solder. The labor is definitely faster. And if you're using less labor because you're not going to get a hot work permit and you don't have that fire watch, there can be a benefit there that is enormous. Labor is the biggest cost that we have on a job, and this really does help eliminate a lot of that. Another good thing about it, if you're doing a repair, say you're not out on a big commercial job, but say you're up under a house, say you're under a pier and beam house, and you can't get the water to drain completely down. 
you don't have to with ProPress. You cut it just like you normally would. You clean it by, by rinning it to make sure you get rid of any burrs. Put it together and you squeeze it. Guys, if, if water is still running, say the meter won't shut off all the way. Or say you can't find a meter in your, the gate valve or, or ball valve or whatever. It will not shut off all the way and you can't drain it down. You don't have to wait on that with ProPress. If it's got water in it, you're going to be able to do it. If it's still got water in it, you don't have to do like on a solder joint where you've got to get all that water out by either blowing it out, vacuuming, <laughs> blowing it out, vacuuming it out, or whatever it is you're doing. So sometimes ProPress can be very beneficial. We've actually used it for under slab and we had to go back and ask the city, hey, is this allowed? You know, the AHJ, the authority having jurisdiction, is gonna make that decision, but the manufacturer said, yes, we're fine with it, as long as the AHJ is. Now, ProPress is great because water pressure, they're rated up to 600 PSI at 250 degrees, and on air, up to 200 PSI at 180 degrees. There's a lot of room there that this thing is good for, and considering you can use it, on a potable water system, hot and cold. You can use it on gas. You can use it on heating water. You can use it on solar. And you can use it for fire protection systems. And guys, I used to be a fire protection installer and we had to seal floss everything because of the pressures it can get up to. So this would really speed that up a lot. And that's just a great reason to have ProPress tool in your bag. But to get that tool in your bag is not gonna be cheap. Okay, the small ProPest tool is about $1,000 to $2,500 for the bigger one. But when you get into the Mega Press tools or the Mega Press heads for your ProPress tool, that's another couple of grand. So you've got to figure just for one set of, of the heads for copper and gas, I've got about $4,500 in it. I believe we sent our guys through a training to get certified on it. So add another few hundred bucks for labor for that. So there's a lot of different things involved to get to use it, but the good thing is there's a lot of different systems that you can use it in. I like ProPress, and it's funny because I got a comment because I really don't like shark bites, and y'all have probably seen that video, and I get a lot of people complain all the time, and they say, well, what's the difference between that and ProPress? Guys, shark bite fittings, you just push together. ProPress, you've at least got a mechanical connection where it literally clamps down. I think it's about 3,000 PSI, but it clamps down and seals onto that pipe where it's not just gonna come off. So my question is, what do you consider better? You can call it whatever you want. If it saves you time and it saves you money and it lasts just as long, it's probably better. And there's not a lot of things you can do to mess up this installation. And this is one thing, and people ask me why I would consider ProPress professional and shark bites not. Anybody can't just install ProPress. You've got to have the right tools, you've got to have the right fittings, and you can't get them at Home Depot. So you've heard my thoughts on ProPress, and to be honest, I'll tell you what, it's not a bad thing to have. So do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've used it and what you think about it. And if you hadn't done it yet, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. You, you, yeah, you, here, here you can cut and do things and whatnot. Yeah. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed. Now we've already done the ending, so really I don't have to do anything now, do I?